Hi everyone, you're watching Pyro Falcon's Sims 3 Socialism Challenge. I am Pyro Falcon, playing The Sims 3 Supernatural, with all the other expansion packs as well. I'm trying to get these eight Sims to the top of the 12 conventional careers as fast as possible. This is episode 13 and day number 12 for the family. Well, I say family loosely, they're all unrelated. Um, so we've got $3,500 of spending money. And there are plans I have for the place, but I ha I don't have any concrete plans. I mentioned I should, in the last episode, I need to get my graph paper and sketch some rooms out and see what I can do. Because um, what, what I mainly need to do is I need to increase the room of everything. I need to, uh, you know, make an actual honest-to-God kitchen with an actual honest-to-God dining room. Um... Wow, everyone's, like, waking up all at once. Um, you know, I, I just, I, I need to make this area bigger. We're running out of room, especially because we're going to start needing a whole bunch of additional objects for some of the extra stuff that needs to be done. All right, so... Cassandra, yes, that's good. Actually, go to the bathroom for... I always find it weird to shower then pee. It just seems backwards. Okay, Smooth, Smooth is actually doing pretty well, other than the fact that he had a bad night's sleep. See, he are, he considers the bunk beds cheap. I consider them fantastic value. Unfortunately, I won't be able to um, get him a better bed anytime soon. One of my self-imposed rules for this challenge is everybody's bed must be equal, which means uh, it's going to be a while before... It's going to be a while before we can get some of the good beds. Because we're poor. We may have $3,000, but when you split that eight ways, you don't have a whole heck of a lot of money you're talking about. Alright. Okay, that should do it. Whoa! There are carpools everywhere. I was trying to figure out why no one was waking up for him. Okay, Smooth needs to go, but he's in pretty good shape. Let's see. Clark needs to go, but he's okay. Cassandra needs to go. She'll be ready. Okay, everyone's actually in pretty good shape, surprisingly. All right, who's off today? Let's check. Uh, Jennifer is off. She needs... Okay, Jennifer has recently been promoted to level four, and she needs to have good relationships with her teammates, but she can't do that when... She doesn't know them yet, so for her, I'm just going to have her <clears throat> work out when she wakes up. She can grab a quick meal and then start working out. Smooth is doing what he can. Ariana is fine. Clark is fine. Cassandra is fine. Sort of. Okay, Jack. Jack keeps wanting to read. Oh, because he's a technophobe. That makes sense. Okay. But he still needs to, um... The heck? The lighting just suddenly all darkened. <clears throat> Jack needs to keep working on his relationships with his clients. Of which, apparently, there are four. Uh, Tony, you kind of need to go to work, buddy. Oh, you'll be done with your shower by then. <clears throat> so it seems Ariana is off because she would have gone already. She needs athletic and handiness. She has both. Charisma. Did I ever get her charisma one? Yeah, okay. So she can put that book away. Alright, so once she's done with her meal, she can go pay the bills. Yeah, that's good. Uh, the more I play The Sims, the more I like the quick meal option. I finally realize what that's for. It's especially for The Sims who get up and only have two hours to get organized before they go. Let's them just grab a meal without having to worry about cooking, which is great. They're less satisfied with it, but at least there's food in their stomachs. Makes sense. There we go. Okay, I finally got Jack's clientele smiley face all the way up. It's annoying. Uh, the fortune teller career is annoying because it's the only career where you can't increase your coworkers and clients or whatever you want to call them, uh, their relationships, 
inside of a job strategy. You have to do it outside of the job, which is a little annoying, but I'm a pro, so, you know, it's no big deal to me. All right, so all three have their orders. Um, Jack really has nothing to do unless he wants to keep making friends, so we'll just queue up a whole bunch of chats. And, uh, yeah, we can go triple speed for a chunk of this one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't go to sleep. Why do you want to sleep so much? Man, you're agitating sometimes. Um... should have done that. They need to push themselves. They need to get faster, stronger, meaner, leaner. Who just broke something? Oh my god. Okay, Jack, you're gonna have to take care of that. The ladies are busy. Alright, now come back in the living room. <laughs> Keep on chatting, I guess. Jennifer just hit athletic eight. Now, I, you know, yesterday I sent me to rummage in someone stranger's garbage. I forgot to sell. Now there's some luck right there. I got some tanzanite and some turquoise. And an unknown rare seed. Remember, no one keeps their personal items, so all these must be sold. Um... And I just basically pulled a rule out of my nether regions where I figured, um, no, since no one can keep their items, I think it would be kind of cheap for me to get these cut, so they just immediately sell them. I'd be making a lot more money if I would cut the gems and then sell the cut gems, but, eh, what's the fun in that? All right, everyone's coming home. Smooth needs to get on Charisma, so that's what he's going to do immediately. Cassandra needs to get on... Oh no, it's not Cassandra, it's Mew. Is she home yet? She's almost home. She needs to... Right. Start article, there we go. Okay, so Cassandra's going to write an article. And... I don't know what the hell Jack is doing. Local crime syndicate. Oh, wait a minute. So she can write an article without needing to interview people, I think. Well, that's good. Yes, let's talk. Okay. Ugh. Oh, my legs are stiff. Okay, Jack. I have nothing for you to do. At all. Like, nothing. I have nothing for him to do. What is, why is Smooth talking? I just told you to work on Charisma. I know you didn't hit it. I know you didn't hit the next level. Oh, you need friends. Oh, Cassandra got promoted. Sweet. I didn't even notice. So, Cassandra's up to level four in journalism. And that's okay. So, Smooth needs to hit the next level of Charisma, but can't until he has a friend. And a friend is defined as someone who is not in this... Um, house, which means he's going to have to start talking to his co-workers too. Alright, well he may as well start chatting up Becky Yunan. No wonder, I bet see I remembered a long time ago I figured out that talking to your co-workers was the best idea but I could never remember why and I thought it was just about the socialism, social meter. This has been so long since I realized that that was optimal that I forgot why it was optimal. That's why it's optimal, because in order to get your charisma up, you need friends, and the easiest way to get friends is to talk to them at the job. Yes. Pyro remembers. And someone broke something. Somewhere. Miu broke the shower. Well, fix it. <coughs> Alright, now the problem I had yesterday is that we didn't get everyone fed quickly enough. So, once Smooth is done with his conversation, he's going to prep some grilled cheese sandwiches. What is Tony doing? Tony is wasting his time. Tony should be working on his handiness and gardening. 
And Clark is not contributing to the family, but he has nothing to do, so that's fine. He can just um, keep on doing what he's doing. Why? How about you work on your cooking, then? You should work on your cooking. All right. Oh, man, my legs. So I've got $5,000. I really need to sketch something out. I think I'm going to sketch something out um, after this episode. Because we need to start remodeling the place. We have $5,000 in the bank. That's plenty of cash to make a new few uh, few new rooms. Wait, 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 wait. That stresses you out? I didn't realize that. Oh, well. So watch some TV. Then you'll relax. Okay, Ariana. Let's see. You're set now, right? Yes, Ariana is set. Okay. Oh, she wants to read something. That's fine. Cassandra would rather stand and watch TV than sit on one of these couches. I mean, I, I get that the color is ugly, but come on. All right, so I guess we don't have anything to do until Smooth gets done with uh, the meal. There we go. Okay, everybody, grab some food. If you're hungry, of course. Why did you grab some food out of the fridge when Smooth just took the effort to make some? Come on. Be nice. Appreciate the man's efforts. He doesn't have much. Okay, everyone's getting some food. <laughs> this is just a mess. I'm not sure what everybody is doing at this moment. Okay, Smooth was the first to finish his meal. So, watch some TV. Or do you... Yeah, watch some TV because you can't work on your charisma right now. I know you're a little tired. Just, just watch TV for me. What are you doing, Miu? Miu has nothing to do. Oh, she needs to do reports. Okay. So Miu will write a report on Olivia Goth. Or she would if people would get out of her way. <clears throat> is Smooth clumsy? Yes, Smooth is clumsy. That would explain why he just tripped over nothing. Maybe that's why he freaked out in the very first, well, the second episode. when he sort of popped from, he bamped from like half the yard away to the front door. He was so clumsy he destroyed space-time continuum for a minute. Okay, Ariana. Work starts in 12 hours for you. You need to be really careful here. <laughs> Tony is standing outside the door of the bathroom for poor Ariana here. That's got to be creepy. All right, Jennifer needs to work on teammates. She can't do that. Smooth needs to work on charisma. He can't do that. All right. Well, it seems everyone's basically set. I, I just need a second computer to deal with both uh, Cassandra and uh, Miu's separate issues. Okay. And... Tony needs to read Handiness 1. He'll actually eventually need Handiness 2. I'll have to go book shopping. Put the grilled cheese in the fridge. And okay, we're, we're I think we're pretty much set. Um, I'm going to have Smooth... I'm going to have smooth, smooth go to the bathroom and take a shower and then hit the sack. That way he'll be up pretty early and then I can work on his bladder and hygiene meters. Because he'll be up at... Oh, it's gonna, still going to take him to 5 a.m.? Good, he needs to go now then. Alright, Cassandra and Jack are just chatting. Jack needs to pee before he pees himself. And Miu is done with her report. See, so got me one smiley face, but that's it. She needs to start um, 
getting some more information from people, and I don't think she can question her housemates. No, she cannot. So, on her next day off, she's going to have to go hit up the town and start basically begging to question everybody. If she wears that little short skirt, I'm sure she won't have any problem having men answer her questions. Alright, Jack is basically fine. Take a shower. We got nothing for Jack to do either. It's like three of the Sims, I, I've got nothing for them to do, and then the other three I have, or other five, I have too much to do or something. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, everyone's going to kind of go to bed on their own. Tony, how long is it going to take you to finish the book? Too long. Okay, you're done. You're done. You're done. Go to sleep. Need to be on top of this situation. Mew also. And Jennifer, you can stay up just a little later because... You work late, so read a little charisma. Say until midnight. Okay, good enough. Oops. Extreme sleep. Okay, there we go. So, Jennifer is on her way. So that was a fairly quick day since I was able to run most of the morning in triple speed. Um, everyone's sleeping. Everyone is basically on their way other than Miyu. I'm going to have to... I'm probably going to have to take Miyu out clubbing, basically. It's just so she can get some contacts and hopefully question some people. Let's see, what is Miyu's charisma? Uh, she's only got a one in charisma. That kind of stinks, but... Hopefully, um, hopefully people will answer her questions. Sleepy, sleepy. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. And Ariana is the first to wake up, as usual. Hot dogs for breakfast. I'm sure the military would approve. And otherwise, she's actually in pretty decent shape. Alright, so Tony and Jack just both woke up. Tony can grab a leftover hot dog. So can Jack. Now, if you're still good after that, read some handiness. Alright, Jack, once again, has nothing pressing. All right, now Mew's awake. Uh, let's see, that would be Ariana's car. Okay, everyone's waking up now. Gourmet pet food. Why would I have that option if I don't have a pet? Would you really feed gourmet pet food to strays? I mean, really? I'm glad everyone's making friends with each other, basically. I need to bring up their... I don't think there are any, like, enemies in the house. Nope, no enemies in the house. At worst, everyone just kind of tolerates each other. No one hates each other. That's great. That's unlike real life. In real life, you always hate your roommates. That's just sort of how life works, you know? Alright, so as everyone's getting ready for the day, I'm going to call the episode here. Thanks for watching. Um... Well, you know my usual ending. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We definitely have more coming. Bye.